Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 95 with an ISO. So this is something I think you could call a worst case scenario because the ISO is not bootable. So what you wanna do is first install uh, Microsoft DOS, then boot to the disk through DOS. Sounds complicated, but it's really simple. So as you may have probably noticed, you have a brief description how to do it in one of my videos in the description, which is here, but I decided to make a tutorial on it. So let's get started. As I mentioned before, you will need to install ms -DAS. But first of all, you need to create a new virtual machine. So hit next, create a virtual machine next, yeah, name it. And Keep it on other because it's not listed here. Next. Since this is Windows 95, it does not really need a whole lot of RAM. The fault is 128 megabytes. I'm just gonna keep it like that. If you have a smaller amount of RAM on your computer, you might want to reduce it to 16, 32. Even 16 megabytes of RAM is enough, so yeah. Hit next, new virtual hard disk, next. Again, since this is Windows 95, you don't really need more than 200, 200 megabytes of hard drive space. So, and click finish. Start the virtual machine. Uh, for some reason, the virtual machine is a bit laggy. Hit CD, capture ISO, locate the DOS. Uh, I will mention that the installation for Microsoft DOS goes really, really fast. So, yeah. Hit enter. So, the installation will start. Hit next. Next. I agree. Next. Uh, you just to continue. I will talk through this later. Create a partition and reboot. Now you will get the same exact thing if you do. So we will we will click skip in this as soon as it boots. Hit enter. Next, 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 skip, click here, skip, the second time you get here, click skip, yes, next, yes, now when you get this, of course you want a full, want a full installation, but do not install add-ons, because that will take ages, because they are uh, quite a lot of add-ons, so click next, next, yes, actually, okay, the installation takes literally a few seconds. This is asking you for the DAS startup logo to show if you want. Yeah, I, I honestly like it, so yes. Yes, 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 enable both, yeah, yeah, blah, 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 both. Use the fault, use the fault. And there we have it. Before rebooting, release the ISO. There, yeah, hit the right alt to free the cursor. Yes. So this is the. Actual Microsoft DOS, hit CD, capture ISO, uh, find the Windows 95 ISO. So, type D, like that, and type setup. It's you will probably get this. To continue with setup, press escape. And it will start. Now I 
so for some reason the installation for Windows 95 froze so I had to start everything again and what what I have shown you is how to install Windows 95 with an ISO which is not bootable the ISO we are using is bootable so you can skip everything about the Microsoft DOS just mount a CD ISO and just start a freaking installation as usual Enter, enter again, press enter again. So what are the benefits of installing Windows 95 with a CD? Well, it's much, much faster. Second of all, they are quite more, there's quite a more, there's more content on the CD. Okay, next, next. Well, I feel like I've done this before. <laughs> uh, here you can, uh, select the set of options, I like to go to custom and develop. Oh yeah, here you will be asked for a product key. You have, it comes with the installation, so just copy it. Unfortunately, copy paste doesn't work, so you have to type it. So, this is uh, the identification number of product key. Uh, so, next, you can just give this. If you do want to have sound, select this. If you want some kind of internet, just select both. If you so you don't have to work. It will analyze your computer. This actually does take some time. So if you are installing this on, a, on an actual computer, you might want to select some of these advantages. Now here you can actually uh, modify what you really want, so we don't really want any of this. Next. And look, next. Uh, some counter settings, just again, next. And no, I do not want to start on this. Unless you have some floppies, you know, laying around. So this is the actual installation that will start, it will copy files. Uh, now it will reboot the virtual machine, finish, as usual, release the ISO, ok. Time 
Fire Zone, my ones here. Can just click on it. just check. Okay. Uh, if you have a printer connected to your actual old computer, you might want to select next to it, otherwise, just get it off. And here we are. So, so this is the installation for Windows 95 with an ISO. So as you have probably noticed it's much much faster. And what? That's why, that's because I cancelled. <sighs> Hang in there, I'm gonna fix it. Hey, hello. Uh, yeah, just go that. Anyways, that's installation for Render 95 on a virtual PC with an ISO. If you want to install virtual machine add-ons to Windows 95 yeah, yeah, you probably tried that and that's not really possible because Windows 95 is not supported in Virtual PC 2007 I'll have an annotation in this video and a link in the description if you're on mobile how to install virtual PC add-ons to, uh, to Windows 95 on Virtual PC 2007 really simple, no need to uh, just download the ISO, you have the links, everything on that video. Go ahead, check it, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe if you have any, if you have any problems, suggestions, anything. Tell me in the comments. I love, I actually love re reading all of your comments and I will be seeing you. Bye.